This is the wheat belt area in Western Australia. It was cleared intensively during the start and second half of the 20th century to make room for agriculture. Only a few pockets of original bushland still remain, such as here in Dryandra Woodland. It is in these Wandu woodlands that we can find one of the world's most rare and unique mammals. The numbat. Because of the extensive land clearing and predation by foxes and feral cats, numbat numbers have drastically dwindled. There are only around 1,000 numbats left in the wild today, which makes them rarer than the giant panda. That's why they need all the help they can get to help save them from extinction. Project Numbat was founded in 2005. This volunteer, not-for-profit community group meets together every month. Their aim is to raise awareness about the Numbat's plight and to raise funds to support its conservation. So Project Numbat raises funds to support the Perth Zoo breeding program. Uh, they have the only Numbat uh, captive breeding program in the world and the funds also support radio tracking collars that are fitted to those young numbats and released back into the wild. And that's done by the Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attractions and they also undertake aerial surveys to find out how those numbats are going. Project Numbat stays focused by revisiting its business plan every two years. So the um, donations have increased substantially this year and we also received another request um, we also did really well with our funds raised at the quiz night and also at our World Numbat Day event. Um, and we'll be reflecting all this in our annual audit report. Project Numbat members are kept up to date via the quarterly newsletter and the website. This is also where you can find the web shop with unique Numbat merchandise. This merchandise is also for sale at a variety of events throughout the year such as markets. Project Numbat's mascot, Nerla, makes sure to attract everyone's attention, big or small. Especially for the little people, Project Numbat has developed a primary school package, including a detailed lesson plan and extensive resources for both teachers and students to learn all about the Numbat. Because it's important to start raising awareness as early as possible, Project Numbat also visits schools to hold presentations. The highlight on the Numbat calendar is the moment when the zoo-bred Numbats are being prepped for their release into the wild in late November. First, they each receive a miniature collar. This allows researchers to radio track them and to see how they are coping in the wild. And then the big day arrives for these tiny creatures. One by one, they are released, close to a hollow log, where they hastily seek shelter and then soon find their own territory. Each year around November, Project Numbat also organises dig surveys to monitor Numbat populations. Survey teams systematically scan the ground for Numbat digs and scats and record what they find. Along with the radio tracking, these dig surveys help give a better idea about how many Numbats are present at a particular site. Since numbats cannot be lured into traps like other animals, these surveys are an important part of Project Numbat's ongoing work.
Over the past decade, Project NUMMAT has made a substantial contribution towards raising awareness about the endangered numbat. Project NUMBAT has also contributed over $100,000 towards an ongoing NUMBAT research and conservation. Your support is crucial to help this unique species to survive. Why not consider becoming a member, making a donation or purchasing some merchandise? Visit our website for more information on how you can make a difference and can help to protect this rare and endangered marsupial.